Apple's first iOS 9 beta has been out for a little while now, and I've been testing it out to show you what you can look forward to when it rolls out this fall. So let's get started. Let's start with Siri, which is now more reliable than ever before, thanks to a 40% reduction in misunderstanding what you have to say. It's also much more intelligent. A new feature called Proactive acts as your very own virtual assistant, recognising what you're doing and anticipating your needs. For example, if you listen to music while exercising, Siri will prompt up some songs as you plug in your headphones. It can also display names for unknown callers, providing it can find the number elsewhere on your phone, like in your emails. Along with being smarter, Siri has a new look and is able to understand specific demands, such as, show me every photo taken in Wallasey, or show me pictures taken in December 2014. It can then find every photo in your library that was taken in that location or on that date. Photos is getting a new scrubber bar that sits along the bottom of the screen and allows you to quickly navigate between all of your images. Passbook has also been ditched in favour of a new app called Wallet, which keeps all of your credit, debit and loyalty cards in one place for use with Apple Pay. You'll notice there isn't much showing in mind because Apple Pay doesn't launch here in the UK until next month. Notes on the iPhone is getting an upgrade also. The app now includes the ability to make checklists and embed photos, links and even hand-drawn sketches. There's also a new dedicated toolbar for easy access to common features. One of the main focuses for iOS 9 is making the iPad more productive and help fend off competition from rival tablets such as the Microsoft Surface. Most importantly, iOS 9 and the iPad support split screen, so you can now display two apps at the same time. This is great if you need to reference an article whilst writing up some notes. You can stick Safari alongside the Notes app and interact with both simultaneously, without the need to keep switching apps. It's true multitasking on your iPad for the first time. The only downside to Split View is that it's only available on the iPad Air 2. However, other new multitasking features like Slide Over will be coming to the original iPad Air and the iPad Mini 2 and 3. Another great addition for the iPad is its brand new QuickType keyboard, which now includes dedicated shortcuts for things like cutting, copying, pasting and adding attachments. And if you slide across with two fingers, you'll activate the trackpad, which makes it much easier to edit text. iOS 9 also promises to bump up your iPhone's battery life for an extra hour by using less processing power. And if you still find yourself short, you can use the new low power mode to get an additional 3 hours in between charges. However, this doesn't seem to be working for me yet on the beta, as I have actually seen a bit of a drop with my iPhone 6 Plus. But that's typical of an early pre-release. Finally, Apple is dropping the storage requirement to update your iPhone from 4GB to 2GB, making it even easier to upgrade your iPhones and iPads without the use of a computer, even if you only have 16GB of built-in storage. Well, that's it for this video, but make sure to subscribe to see more great videos from Cult of Mac, including the hands-on look of the El Capitan beta and all the new additions in beta 2 within the next few days. I'll see you next time.